Right, hello guys and welcome to episode 10 I think it is. It's Sunday morning and uh, I'm a bit of a low point. In terms of the hip itself, it's painful, expected that, that's fine. But I've been feverish, you know, I can tell myself I'm hot and sweaty. Um, it's come down overnight a touch to about 37.9 but that's still outside the safe zone. It's going to be Monday before blood cultures come back, so they won't know what it is. And then I guess there's a treatment regime. Um, I think part of the low point is that I don't know when I'm getting home. And it's surprising how much impact that's having on me. In terms of the hip pain, there's a solid, deep kind of ache in the hip itself. And a kind of a minor itch, but a bit sharper on the wound itself. And the mobility challenge is getting up and getting down. Once I'm up, I can walk on the crutches fine. Once I'm down, it's fine. The other challenge is moving my legs sideways on the bed. So when I'm getting up, for instance, I basically have to lift my leg and manhandle it across because there's no strength in the muscle to do that. And if I try and put sideways effort into it, it just it hurts. So, um, snuck out to the fire escape just to get a change of scene. Um, quite thirsty as well, so I'm obviously still dehydrated. Um, yeah, so I'm just kind of waiting. I've spent hours and hours and hours on the bed, so it's uncomfortable. So I sat in the chair for an hour or so this morning, if that, after my shower, which I was a big boy, did myself. Um, and very quickly was uncomfortable in the chair, so I think I'm going to go back to the bed and just try and find some escape and sleep, I think. I slept reasonably well, certainly better than I have so far last night. I was getting two hour stints at a time. Um, yeah, in the great scheme of things, it's not... It's not as challenging or not as I was looking forward to. Looking forward to, is that the right word? As I was expecting, that's it. But this part is harder than I expected. Um, and just figuring stuff out at home as well, you know, because there's things at home that I thought would be fine that clearly aren't, so I'm getting some help to put some things in place, like the right kind of chair, and I haven't used a spare bedroom because the bed's higher um, and that kind of thing but oh yeah and because it's a bath over a shower over bath I can't have a shower for at least six weeks so it'll be strip, watch, strip washes and, and the like so yeah so there we are um, that's today's update probably not do another one this evening um, we'll be sticking to daily now hopefully when I talk to you tomorrow I'll have some results of blood tests Anyway, thanks for watching, remember to hit subscribe and click the bell.